Hello everyone. In PyCharm, when I use this pip install TensorFlow, it shows me this error. Could not find a version that satisfies the requirement TensorFlow. Okay. So what we can do? I'm going to just keep the comment to show you the error later. The solution will be you have to open the link that I attach in the video description, which is this one. Okay. And then Firstly, we are going to install the Miniconda. You can copy this one in the install Miniconda section, curl, HTTP some URL. Now after that, uh, we have bash miniconda.sh uh, code. I'm going to put that code here in the terminal, then press enter. It will take some time because it have to download some data. okay now here we have to say yes are you sure you want to install this yes press enter now we have to read this license agreement what we can do press and hold the enter button until it is crossed to the end okay now here we have to type yes this will be the path for your miniconda installation in my case users for slash uh, my username for slash miniconda let me go ahead and show you that folder if i go to home uh, here we have miniconda 3 otherwise if we go to computer macintosh hd users ashen nishankar here we have miniconda 3 that means i already installed that miniconda 3 so uh, what I can do just delete that and show you what will be the step I'm going to press enter now it will be unpacking actually it is taking some time okay here I'm going to say yes Now if we check our root folder, we have miniconda3, alright. The next step is, if you type conda here, uh, if you see some error like is it sh command not found conda, what you can do is just type in your terminal source for slash users for slash and your username, how you can find that. Go to uh, go option here, computer. Macintosh HD in the users folder you will see your username here I'm going to type that and then inside that folder we can see the miniconda tree folder we have to type that miniconda tree then for slash inside that we have been then type for slash finally type activate press enter okay now close your terminal and open your project with the terminal again if you are using pycharm click your project then go to open in terminal alright the next step is go back to the page here it saying us to create a new conda environment for that we can use conda create hyphen hyphen name and the environment name in this case uh, we can provide tf and here it is especially saying the python version it is ok i'm going to press enter conda create hyphen hyphen name and the environment name will be tf i will press y to confirm okay now what we can do we have to say conda deactivate and then type conda activate the conda environment name that we provided was tf i can say conda activate tf all right the next step will be to say pip install 
TensorFlow. This will download the latest version. Actually, it will take some minutes to complete because there are multiple files to download and this library is also about more than 200 megabytes. If you see some error here, that means you have to install the latest version of pip. You can say pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip in your terminal. And then type conda activate the conda environment name that we provided was tf i can say conda activate tf all right the next step will be to say pip install tensorflow this will download the latest version Actually, it will take some minutes to complete because there are multiple files to download and this library is also about more than 200 megabytes. If you see some error here, that means you have to install the latest version of pip. You can say pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip in your terminal. All right, now everything is fine. What I can do, just run the application. I will say Python, uh, my Python file name, dot .py. Yeah, uh, we have to install other packages. As you know, we can create conda environment using the terminal conda create hyphen hyphen name and the environment name, like uh, in this case, df. So how we can set up that uh, conda environment with our PyCharm as the configurations. So the solution will be click this PyCharm then click settings. You will see this project section inside that you will see Python interpreter. Then click this add interpreter button add local interpreter. Here we have to select existing. Now select this more button. Now you have to go to the conda environment folder so in this case my username inside that i have the mini conda folder mini conda tree inside that i have my environments in the in envs folder i will select this tf folder so i will go to bin here i should show something like python okay select this python one in this case uh, I will select this Python 3.9 click OK OK apply OK now if you go to this edit configurations you will see the Python interpreter is this miniconda tree for slash envs for slash the environment name for slash bin for slash python 3.9 it will take some time to update here you can see update skeleton okay now the next step is install missing packages I can right click on here then click so context options click install package in LTK and there are some packages to configure and then here install package keras actually these things are depend on your code because I don't know what libraries you are using you had to install one by one otherwise uh, if you have requirements or txt it will be useful